I like the beard. I like your beard thicker. Looks good. Thank you, Paul. I'm settling into the final third of my life. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, I said on this podcast the other day, dude, I go, I know I'm getting older. You know, Bill, you know, if, if anybody knows other than my family, it's Bill Burr about how I'm an old man at heart. I mean, I was the only kid looking at sedans when I was 16, 17. I was looking at Buick sedans and all my friends are going, what are you fucking nuts? I go, look how fucking comfortable that thing is. But dude, I said this the other day to somebody, this 60 year old guy in this cafe that I always go to. He goes, hey, Paul, how you doing? And dude, I just go, if I was doing any better, I'd be you. And I pointed like that, right? And dude, this 65 year old guy, he just goes, I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a good one. If I was doing any better, I'd be you. And I gave a point and I loved it. I fucking loved it. Dude, I love old I man. loved what I did. I love the old man shit. I love that he loved it. And he was just like, oh, I like that. I, I'm a, you know. You know what? My, uh, my brother-in-law took me out for my birthday, right? Went to, uh, got some food right next to it. There was a cigar bar. And this fucking guy came into the cigar bar, this old guy. And he walked out to my brother-in-law. He goes, he goes, forgive me if I met you before. What's your name? He gets his name. He gets my name. And then he just proceeds to just shit on us for like a fucking hour. Just like he just wanted to know our name so he could just give us shit. Like busting our balls, dude. It was fucking hilarious. Oh, but give you shit in a good way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, when we went to leave, he goes, what do you guys do? He goes, he goes, uh, he goes, you look like ball players or something like that. And I said, no, but he goes, well, I didn't say you played. He was doing like that shit, like setting you up with like a compliment, like that old man shit. Yeah. And then when we gave him shit back, he loved it. <laughs> it was fucking great. It's yeah. one of those fucking cool old guys. He wants to know everybody's name so he can kind of hold court and get his jokes. And oh, it was, fun. oh, it was great. Dude, there was, was another guy there. there was a guy there, dude, that was playing, that was playing on the senior pro golf tour how old are these guys the guy that was busting your balls 80 oh that's the <laughs> best. fucking old oh that's the best. um the other guy um i don't know how old he was he looked to be about my age or whatever and he was just talking about golf and all of that it was just it's fun there was another guy you know, I remember I was watching the, uh, you know, yeah, that back to me, the guy was watching, this, this guy just he was watching the Dodger game, you know, and the ending ends, and he just goes, how many fucking guys are you going to leave on base? And I turn around, it's this fucking guy with just like white hair, this awful ball cap on. <laughs> just this great collection of fucking old guys. Oh, it's the best. There's nothing better than playing golf with old guys, too. Guys that are 70, 80, they've been playing the same course. So they know every fucking angle of the course. They say the same jokes. It's the fucking best. And they and they love telling you. You know, they'll be like, hey, you know why they call it golf? And you'll be like, why? Because fuck was taken. <laughs> just like, yeah. All, right. All those old golf jokes. <laughs> yeah. You just laugh at them because those they're, they're so happy to tell you. Golf courses get like a bad, bad rap. I'm, I, I've hung out in a few. I don't really, obviously I don't play, but like going over there and meet guys to go smoke a cigar or something. Everybody over there seems like they're fucking, like, guys, guys, they're cool, they break balls and all of this shit. I just think that's just yet another thing where, um, I remember, like, when they, when they were just going after football players during that. I ran into a guy, ex-NFL guy, was going, like, I love that Ray Rice bit. A lot of guys in the league like that bit that you did. Um about Ray Rice, and I was like, I don't remember the bit that I did. Well, they, well, they tried to act like every guy in, in the NFL was out there beating up his wife, and my bit had something to do. It was like, most of these guys I have charities and are trying to make their neighborhoods better, and they just don't even bring that shit up. And, they, and he said to me, he goes, yes, to st to statistically speaking, the, like, the NFL was better than so society as a whole. I can't even talk today. And when it came yeah. to domestic violence, but you know. Well, I've been playing, dude, the idea that golfers are those frat boys with fucking sweaters around their neck is ridiculous. Cause I go out there and it's like guys that are just like, Hey man, I'm just out here. This is my third year. I'm retired. 
just a guy's guy, blue collar job, just trying to fucking be outdoors and play something. They're not all pretentious assholes. Like you said, yeah, of course you're going to come across some assholes, but like what let, name a profession where there's not a fucking asshole or, or, or something where there's not an ass. You probably go to a bowling alley. There's going to be, no, some I think a lot of the hate towards uh, golf courses and all of that shit, as far as the type of people that golf, it just comes from the outside, you know, like, I don't know, like that whole fucking thing that they were doing in sports where they would pick different, like, aggressive sports, and they would talk about rape culture. Like, the, like the coach was in there going, and after this game, we're going to go, go rape someone. It's just like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Like, I'm not saying that there weren't, like, problems, but there wasn't necessarily, it was like, it was a societal problem to fucking put it on a sport and somehow make it seem like, you know, Coaches and shit were like for this stuff. I mean, I don't know. Like that's what, like like that's what they were teaching. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, look. It obviously, when you got a kid that's making the school, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars or whatever, he's going to get the benefit of the doubt. I'm not saying there wasn't a problem with that, but to just specifically go out there and try and make it seem like like a part of sports was that. Um, I don't know. Just personally speaking, that wasn't my experience with sports. Well, I like sports because it brought people together. It taught you how to like take shit, let it yeah. roll off your back. You know, there's a lot of there's incredibly. Uh, you know, you learn how to. You know, you learn how to bounce back from defeat was the big thing. Losing. Yeah, but you also you learn you learn you learn camaraderie, all that shit. Yeah. Um, especially for a college football coach or a football coach, you got 53 guys on a team. One guy fucks up and does some domestic violence shit. And the coach is like, they're letting, he's like, all right, dude, like even like Aaron Hernandez, when he was at Florida, they said like that urban Meyer heard some shit about fights or you hear about like a woman, uh, something, a woman saying something, you got 53 guys and it comes down on the coach. And I'm not saying that the coach shouldn't know, but dude, that's like, you, that's why there's curfew. That's why there's things like that. You know, I, I don't know. Like, how can you can control a kid that's fucking at UNC? You know, hanging yeah, I'm not out saying part. that there's not a problem yeah. with guys assaulting women, but just, just a, when there was that period where they were trying to put it on, like, associating, like, you know, certain sports with, like, advocating that. And, like, I, I don't think the numbers just didn't, I think in the end, didn't support it. It was like, this is no greater than society as a whole. So, yeah. like, how, how is this helping the problem? I just feel, I don't know. It's kind of a, like, uh, I think a lot of shit comes from uh, envy. You know, who doesn't want to be the fucking sports star out there getting all that fucking attention? You know? Or, like, yeah. somebody, you see these fuck, all these people on the golf course. It's a lot of successful people. You know, at some country club you can't afford to be, and it's oh, they're a bunch of fucking rich dicks. Everybody there fucking, you know, lied, cheated, and stole their way there. Yeah. A bunch of rich kids that was all handed to them. Like, look, I'm not saying that isn't there. There aren't examples of that. But, like, a lot of that chatter is so the person who's not in there yet can fucking feel better about themselves. There's a person, you know, I see they, they, they keep going after this one guy that I know, and it's just like, why can't you get inspired that this person came from nowhere Yeah, and is now worth fucking nine figures as opposed to, like, just trying to rip his life down? I don't know. It's really a fucking weird thing, man. No, it, it is a weird thing, and I, it, you know, I always, I always say it's like America loves an underdog until they're not an underdog anymore, but it's like, um, I feel that, you know, some people like, like I'm, a, I'm, I'm, a, I guess I would say I'm religious. I believe in God, but then there are people that don't have anything. And, and, and when you have something, they go, yeah, but do they have God in their life or do they do that? I don't like when they do that either. I don't like when it's like, yeah, but are they happy? Yeah. They have a million dollars. Are they happy? And it's like, yeah, maybe they are happy. <laughs> right. Maybe yeah, that statement has nothing to do with the other person. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe they are happy. Yeah. But are you happy? Uh, not as happy as you, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. He's got a yacht. He's got a yacht. And he's dating all these. Is he happy? Maybe he's fucking, maybe he's happy. Maybe he's doing good. 